Let's have a spelling, Let's have a contest. spelling contest. We're rolling episode 86. Yo, yo. We're, we're in the episode of the no fucks capacitor. <laughs> the zero fucks capacitor. Zero dude. fucks capacitor. Fucks I lo- capacitor has been emptied. I love that. Now, let me tell you something. Let's get right into it. Is I have a little chip on my shoulder about about uh, the drinking, okay? Yeah. Now, I, I do love to have drinks. Same love here. it. Yeah, we're men. Love it. I love to have drinks with my boys. Yep. With my girlfriend. Yep. Love it. Okay? Now, usually when I'm by myself, I'm not drinking. And usually by myself, I'm not. Now, I may have a, a little shot before I, if I'm going to, write some music or or lay some tunes or something right right but what's what tends to happen when um i love talking about alcohol and drugs and sex and because it's fun that's the interesting stuff in the world dude right it's very fun i enjoy it but what team se- seems to happen even with my family sometimes is they'll they'll ask if the, if there's problems or or hey maybe if you you cut back on the drinking Let's be honest. I really don't. I don't drink. Uh, I don't. I really don't drink at all. It's. I. I'm a social drinker. That is a fact. Now, um, I'm a social drinker. I'm a whiskey fueled guitar player. I do love having a few shots before I play guitar. I enjoy that. Yeah. Who wouldn't? But I want to let y'all know something. I'm a. I, I've. I've ran a recording studio for, for um, better part of maybe 14 years yep. okay and i've been running my own business for that long now if you're a drunken druggy mess that doesn't happen no you you can't be responsible for anything right i also have many people who love me right yep. and and uh, none of that happens with alcohol being being a complete mess when you're <laughs> hammered now a lot of people that are i know a lot of people that have gone sober and god bless you and sometimes, not with not with my boys, you know, like uh, like uh, uh, Corey from Brass Knuckle Voodoo is a, a very devout, sober individual. But what what's great about him is he doesn't pull that shit with you. Like I'll be getting no. drunk, and me and him can still have a, and we're still having a good time. And that's the proper person to be, dude. Right? He doesn't pull that. You know what, Ian? Because what, yeah. because I'm this way, you should be this way too. Exactly. Yeah. And he understands that we all are different. Like like for example, I'm terrible with weed. Yep. Well, so so I don't smoke it unless I want to knock the fuck out. Right. Right. So the chip on my shoulder is starting to get that because it's not just with some people, but other people, even in my family sometimes. Well, maybe Ian cut back on the booze. And because only in camera I'm drinking or only on stage, I'm blacking out on stage. So they're like, <laughs> so they're like every time I see you and you're like, but you don't see me every fucking day. Right. You don't see me all the time. Right. So. I'm very driven about about my business. I'm very driven in making music, making audio. A lot of my business is audio books, things like that. I can't get up at 6 a.m. to get into a commercial shoot that I just did. When you're thrashed from the night When I'm before. all fucked up. Yeah. So I just want to real quick just put that out there. That, that, I like that. Yeah, I want to put that out there that I do love the booze. I do love the party, but it's mostly I'm a social guy. I love to party with my boys. Of course, because you're an American. Yeah, that's right. I'm a goddamn American. <laughs> God bless yeah. you with my Irish whiskey. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> Which, there's nothing more American than Irish whiskey, in my yeah, opinion. That's no shit. <laughs> hey, Telemore Dew, there's nothing. Here, here's hey, our commercial. Hey, Th- Telemore. There's nothing. You. Telemore Dew, there's nothing more American than Telemore Dew Irish whiskey. Hey, you know the... <laughs> <laughs> What was that old saying? Uh, to alcohol, the cause and solution to all of life's problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that, that is true. And, and, and same with you. Yeah. You, you love to booze. Now, yeah. maybe booze is, you like to have a few drinks. Maybe booze sometimes puts a bad light on it for some people. Yeah, other people hear that and they're like, oh, this guy's just fucking always, he's a booze hound. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, but, you know, if it's around and I'm around, eh, fuck it. Yeah, because yeah. what I am gonna do is when I get together with like with my dad and, and and the family and stuff, I I uh, mess around a lot and then talk about how I love to drink and I can drink everybody under the table and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna stop doing that and and because I sometimes that does start to leave a taste in 
my father's side of the family's mouth where it's like, you. you know what I mean? Yep. And they're getting a, a incorrect. Like I, for the longest time I, I was constantly talking about doing blow and whores and shit. Right. Oh dude. But I never even dipped my finger in cocaine until my thirties. Yep. And that was because my tooth fell out and I was dying and my neighbors were doing blow. I go, Hey, fuck this dude. <laughs> You, you want to hear yeah. something funny? Uh, me, and yeah. my, me and my pops were talking a little while ago, and I was like, okay. hey, man, uh, you know, fucking, just, you know, after mom's gone, you know, it's just cocaine and hookers from here on out. And, and he's like, yeah, uh, but I can't handle the coke. You know, I got heart conditions and shit. And I was like, man, you swear like I'm serious. So he makes some kind of joke like that, you know, yeah. referencing fucking whores and shit around my mom. And my mom hears it, and she's like, oh, my God, why would you even say that? And I was like, see, dude. You don't got the same chick that I do, dude. <laughs> because yeah. because well, I could fucking talk shit all day long about cocaine and hookers, dude. And, and I won't get shit from my old age. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Jenna and I ever break up, I'm not getting another girlfriend. It's all going to be whores. <laughs> cocaine and hookers from here on out? <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> and that's just a slogan, guys. Like, yeah. even if you don't like coke, it's a great slogan to have. It is. I even told the old lady, I was like, you know what? That's all I want on my tombstone. <laughs> I just want my name and cocaine and hookers. And she's like, well, people might want to dig you up then, you know. <laughs> There's going to be some blowing hookers. Drink your blood. <laughs> <laughs> like in, uh, like in uh, uh, um, uh, shit, what's that movie with Bradley Cooper, man? The, um, where he, they find this pill and he could, they, you can use all of your brain. Oh, uh, I know what you're uh, talking Limitless. About. Limitless, there you go. And then at the end where they're out of the pills, yeah. but the bad guy had the pill. Yeah. So <laughs> he dies and he starts like, bleeding. He drinks the he drinks the blood and then pops up, you know? Yeah. That, that's so funny. Speaking of pills that help your brain, will you pour me a glass of that sweet Telemore Dew Irish I whiskey, sure would you? And by the way, if you're one of those people who are like, oh, you know, just, oh, this is, the, Ian, this is the cause of, wait, hold on. You can't say anything. Ian, this is the cause of you having awesome friends, a cool girlfriend, and, and family that loves you. Yeah, I don't think I think you're and I think you're fucked and trying to find something on me. Now, see, I, I would believe if you drink nothing but Jägermeister, you might have some problems because <laughs> you know it's fucking Jägermeister. But yeah. Tillamore do. I tell you what, baby, I I fucking. I dig that whiskey, Look, dude. If if I'm drinking a plastic bottle Ralph's version whiskey, <laughs> then maybe you say something. You might have a problem. I, you might it'd be like, you might be a redneck. <laughs> you might be an alcoholic. Yeah. yeah. Now, now speaking of that, we purposely did a day cast here um, on this Saturday. Oh yeah, we set this whole thing up for our boy because we found out our boy had a um, an intervention. Yeah, with his fam, and I wanted to hear about that. I wanted Same to hear here. all about it. I also wanted to back up that intervention. Yep, me too. Well, I got a little intervention of my own, mm -hmm. and it's an intervention of love, right? right? It's an intervention where you. Where, where, I had a heartfelt letter written and everything. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> we must do things with a sense of humor. We got and it. God bless you. We got it, dude. Because <laughs> I'll I'll check out if it's like so. I um. Love you so much. I'd be like, gay. No. <laughs> and then the time that you stole from me. Yeah, I'd be like, no, no. gay. Yeah, come yeah. on, dude. Be like, hey, you fuckhead. Yeah. Now, usually with what kind of interventions we do is sometimes like I pull someone aside and go, don't ever fucking do that to me again. Yep. I love you. Don't ever do that to yeah. me again. Yeah, come on. And, uh, and uh, in fact, I kind of did that to my brother, which it was maybe he, he was all right, but he undermined me a little bit. On something he didn't understand. All right. And I go, don't ever fucking do that to me again. Yep. Gave, him a, gave him a hug. I go, love you, bro. He goes, I love you too. Done. All right. Done and done. Moving right? on. Right? Moving on. Yep. But, and this was going to be kind of something like that. It was going to be a little bit of a, but tell me about what's going on because all this is set from depression. This is where this comes from. It's got to be, man. Absolutely. It's, it's set from be. depression. Not enough things that you're driven upon. You, you don't you don't have a drive to something that you love anything yep. no matter what it is uh, being a, a, a sommelier is that the right word for being an expert in an alcohol mm -hmm. or uh, or a connoisseur co connoisseur well, a connoisseur in alcohol may not work for this, uh, this intervention <laughs> <laughs> again we skew <laughs> again we skew we have good intentions though. but I'm saying like here, here's a great example uh, since since we don't have anything I'm gonna give you something that I um, that I am sucking at right now. All right. All right. And I'm, I'm very serious. 
I want to be a I uh, I want to be a better rhythm guitar player. I'm copping out as far as being a perfect rhythm guitar player because I have two guitar players in my band. So sometimes when I can't do something, I'll drop out and let them let them have it. Right. All right. It would make me a lot better if I could get some of these triplets in. I'm I'm being really lame. And I was saying this to myself. I go, I need to wake up a little early. Just get my triplets in and move on with my day. And I'm not doing it. This is a minor example, right? right? But I'm also, throughout the day, I feel like a, I'm going, you fucking bitch. That's another day that you don't get to. That you haven't done it. That I haven't done it. Then we go into practice and I can't do it. So you're, right? you're taking out that, uh, you're taking that exercise mentality into your into your uh, right. music, music playing because for which me, is, which is because for me, going to the gym is not a problem. Right, there's zero problem there. Right, I love it. I'll get there on time. But you know, yeah. if, you know, if you miss a day that you're supposed to, and you know, sometimes you get yeah. a little busy and shit. You know, you, you tell yourself that you're like you little fucking bitch. You better get in there and yeah. fucking hit it twice as hard the next time. And what it does is it slowly eats away at you when you don't get your shit done. That's that's facts, right? And it same goes with making a phone call for for a credit card bill. Yep. Whatever it is, where I'll just keep putting off this credit card bill phone call that I yeah. need to make, and my interest goes up, blah, 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 right? Yeah. And I pay for it later, financially. Yeah, yeah because you didn't make that one move in the beginning that could have fixed all these problems. Right. So there's a lot of this going on for me in October. Now, the guitar one was a minor one, right? Mm. There's some financial issues I'm having that I'm not handling. Whose fault is it? My fault. 100% my fault. So... When I don't handle it, it eats away at me. And I imagine if I don't handle that months and months and months and months go on, I'm going to really feel like a piece of shit. And I'm going to take it out on something. I'm going to, I may even over drink. I'll take it out on the, on the crowd when I'm on stage. Cause that I happens. See, I see where you're going here. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. So that's kind of on, on my end. And I think that happens with a lot of people. Yep. And it's called conquering that inner bitch. Yep. Conquer that inner bitch. Smack your bitch up, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm going to throw uh, I'm going to throw that in under that spot on, on on the edit. But I'm just saying I think that's what's happening with our boy. Yeah. Is that there's these little things. There's a lot of I can't. There's there's a right. I guarantee there's probably a bunch of tiny little things that that's just a whole line of bullshit like that. Yeah. And what it is is here's a here's a great example i know this eats away sometimes because it it does to me so my boy i'm talking to you basically let's say baseball we both love playing baseball hell yeah right and he says there's a lot of this because of his surgery he can't uh mm. i now you can't play as well as you used to that's a fact but you can still play you can't play as well as fucking i'm gonna age myself don mattingly Damn, okay. Mr. Butchin himself. <laughs> I was thinking of a, of a current player that I just immediately went to Don Mattingly. I told you, Mattingly, get rid of those side bits. <laughs> but go out and, and play. Just throw that ball yeah. with somebody or throw it against the fence, hit a ball against the fence. Because I went out and played with my brother. It felt good, but it was very disheartening because I got a knee replacement. I, I can't jump, oh, yeah. man. I suck, dude. There's certain things. There's limits that you got now. There's major yeah. limits, and it does eat away. It frustrates the fuck of me out of me. The fact that I can't move like I used to, but I'm going to continue to do it yeah. be- because I, I'm. What am I going to just die? Yeah, because you yeah. love it. You love it. It's fun. Yeah, it's fucking. But are we just going to die? No, no. right. No, we, we fight till we die. Right. Now, a thing I think about a lot, I'm going to stop saying I a lot, because when, when, when you do that, when you're trying to make a point, when you say I, 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 what that does is people check out, because they go, well, that's you, yeah. right? So I'm, When you say we. Yeah, but I'm going to say, you know, when, when, I, when, when you're doing this podcast, it's hard to not say I, but it's yeah. on purpose. One of these things are I think about, is um is am i able to help my family in in a crisis or in like i think about that because i'm constantly told i need to not be jogging or i need to not because of my knee but if i need to get my dog my hundred pound dog to the vet right something happens i gotta carry this motherfucker out of here i want to be able to do that and i think about that a lot 
I think about maybe my, my mother, if my mother needs me, if my girlfriend needs me, the shit hits the fan, whatever the fuck, right? Yep. I don't want to be that guy that says I can't oh. because I got a bad back. Well, the, the same thing right? after I had my motorcycle accident and the, do- the doctor told me, he's like, hey, uh, you're going to walk with a limp for the rest of your life. Yeah. I was like, really? That's, that's amazing. Just because I got this bar in my leg? And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's 100% fact. And that was, uh, shit. I went through physical therapy for fucking a month and a half, and I walked there, did my physical therapy, walked back. After about three months, I went back into that same doctor's fucking office, stood on that leg, and I was like, I ain't got a limp, dude. Yeah. So I don't care what you guys say. You know, that, that's how every man's got to be. Fuck the bollocks, dude. Whatever anybody says, dude, fuck that. That's them trying to limit you in your own mind. Right. If, if you're like, fuck that, I'll... Psh- I don't care what it costs me. I'm going to do what I need to do regardless on what the fuck anybody says. Exactly. And also what happens, too, is especially with doctors, is that a lot of doctors work with older people, yeah. right? So especially like with knee replacements, yeah. they only deal with old people. Yeah. So they go, what's your goal? So I go, I want to get back to, to jogging and hiking. And, and not no joke, you can ask my mother. My mother was there. They laughed. This lady laughed. And I and my mom goes, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you know what you I mean? Fucking cunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I go, yeah, I go, I was jogging before the surgery you know? on my shitty leg. Yeah. I want to jog. But so she, she goes, well, knee replacement, blah, blah, blah. So multiple says, you don't, you're not jogging. Well, I'm jogging now on the oh. beach, right? It's limpy. It's weird. And I look dumb, but who gives a fuck, right? But I, but I think it's so many people telling you that you can't do something, too, that makes you want to do it even At more. 100%. Just, just like me, dude. One, and that's probably why I've also taken this path in my career, too. If you didn't, I'd probably be a fucking super successful lawyer or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have been a scientist, dude. Yeah. yeah. You got to be fucking curing cancer, dude. But you fucked up, and now I want to play guitar. Yeah. <laughs> you created this monster. Look what you did. Yeah. And now, now I'm a mediocre fucking <laughs> guitar player. Damn you. But that is a fact. Anytime someone's like, or they give me one of those, I go, go fuck yourself. Now I got to go yeah. do that. Now yeah. I have to. Exactly. Right. Just because you said I can't. That's like, t- you know, seeing the big red button glowing when you're a kid and somebody I'm tells pushing you, that. yeah, don't push that button. You're like, why? It's got lights on. Yeah. <laughs> don't push that. Mm, shit. God damn it. I can't do it. Yeah. But I do think there, there's what happens with people, and 100% this happens with me. When I don't do what I'm supposed to do, it it kills me. It takes a toll on you. It takes a toll. I got you. And I got a lot of those, man. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I never talk about because I like ball busting and shit, but it fucking depresses the fuck out of me. When I don't handle something, whether it's family shit, I should have handled that. I should have fucking handled that, man. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't handle my... Uh, uh, my dog's ears, and now she got a fucking ear infection. Yeah. I should have been cleaning those ears out. Why didn't I clean those fucking ears out? And now, now it costs me all kinds of money at, at the at the vet, yep. right? So that never happens again. My dog's ears are clean. <laughs> and where you start, now if I'm going to be preachy, where you start in these things is your home. Pick up your home. Don't let your home be a fucking mess, right? right. Just pick it up. You don't have to scrub. Just pick shit up. Yep. These are all things that I have to tell myself on a daily basis, right because i definitely a lot of times want to be like fuck work today justin you want to go out and get <laughs> annihilated you want to go destroy your life yeah and i say that a lot right <laughs> hey you want to come ruin your life with me let's do it hey but the one thing that i heard that was that was great it was a, a seal commander when uh, they had a graduating class and he was like it comes down to small stupid little things that you might think doesn't matter to anybody but say the beginning of your day you wake up you get out of bed make your fucking bed Mm -hmm. you know why because no matter how shitty of a day you have when you come home your fucking bed's made right you know so because you took care of something right at the beginning of the day you can go out into the world and fucking everything's against you fucking the world sucks everybody knows that dude you come back home and you're like fuck well at least one thing went right and that was because of me right that's exactly true anything little little things little things now when you're depressed i don't give a fuck that that fucking that's going on the floor oh, all of that's gone yeah and that's yep. that's true man yep. and that's true and, it, and i, I want to give you some i the, this month and usually at the end of every year my financial it starts getting difficult because uh holidays and things like no, that yeah. a lot of people are not working a lot of people are not uh and say in quote unquote entertainment whatever 
they're not spending money on records or whatever, right? So my money takes a major dip. And every year I tell myself, I need to sock away. I need to get myself ready to go. Again this year, I didn't do it, right? It's very fucking irritating to me. And this last week, I got hit with a lot of mental fucking... I got hit with a little depression. And I was like, fuck it. My house is a mess. Fuck you. And, I, and here's what happens with, with Ian goes depression, though. The major fuck you happens. So I start ordering credit cards. I start fucking <laughs> getting ridiculous, buying a new guitar. You know, <laughs> So my depression sometimes... Turns out awesome for other people, but <laughs> well, well, you're, you're trying to even things out. You're like, fuck it, I'm miserable. I might as well make myself happy. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of this. Yep. Yeah, and it's a bad move, and I put myself in debt, and that's what happens. That that happens, but it's not it's not good. But week goes by, I'm like, fuck it, Ian, stop being a bitch. Yeah. Now let's pay off these yeah. fucking credit yeah. cards. Yeah, <laughs> you sat there in your own misery for long enough to where the other side of you is like, really, dude, this is what we're doing. Yeah, Come on, get the fuck up. But the, the world don't give a fuck about your depression. No, it doesn't. The the peep, your family looking that need you don't give a fuck about your depression. Nope. Now we're human, we all get depressed, sure. But let's be honest. We gotta move along. Yep. We gotta move along. And and the rest of the world's gonna be like, eh, it's not what you've done for me. It's what have you done for me lately? That's right. That's absolutely yep. correct. We can bitch and complain and be, be sissies about it. Yep. Now I'm gonna go into another world of it. Now we, me, you, specifically fucking Drew, don't talk about our issues very often to each other, right? When we get together, we want to have, some, have a good time and, yeah. and talk. Yep. So, and I say this a lot. Don't bring your bullshit over here, but yeah. when you need some, please, for the fuck's sake, tell me. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I'm going to say this about Drew. He, he, Drew's one of those guys, like, it's all good, bro. What's going on with you? Yep. I go, no, no. Nah, come on. Come on. Give me, give me. Give me. Yep. You got you got give me something yep. because there's you're the you and you you guys are the opposite. You guys won't give me fucking anything because and I, I think I'm that way too. Like fucking shit's good. I ain't gonna lay my shit on you. Yeah. But please give me a little if if you if you need me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You need to unload a little bit. Please. I get it. I get it. Now there's other people that all they do is unload and that and that, I, that becomes <laughs> a problem. Yeah. You know, when your whole your whole existence is just, oh, woe is me on this, woe is me on that, and you're like that's really all you got to complain about? Because, fuck, I got some issues, too. And if I dropped them on you, you'd probably get depressed for me. Yeah, we, we all do. And yeah. what, what, what I try not to do is, is compare my woes with other people's woes. Because it doesn't matter. No. Where, where um, you could lose a buddy in war. This person got a flat tire this, this this person that's wearing a mask and you, you see the person I'm yeah. oh, painting yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> person has blue hair yeah. and uh, um, so, but, isn't that weird? When did the blue hair become the sissy hair? Didn't I the fucking blue hawk? Wasn't that fucking hardcore? Dude? I had blue hair, dude. Uh, wasn't that, that fucking sick, uh, dude? <laughs> and I got a lot of shit for it. I was called a fag back then too, yeah. though. Okay, yeah, all right. But yeah. For, it's only blue though. Every yeah. other color seems to be, I guess, yeah. But but uh, okay. now it's like the frosted like weird shit like everybody yeah. looks like they came out of that fucking cartoon uh what was that that one with the fucking uh uh Rick and Morty I love that cartoon yeah. by the no, way no no yeah. no no the I'm I'm talking about that cartoon with the fucking snowman is like like frost something or oh I don't know uh, but but anyways all these all these kids have these like pastel fucking dyed hair okay like weird you know I guess we're the older guys yeah. fucking fruit. <laughs> <laughs> But what's fucked up is when you see an old lady and her hair is legit white, but she had to put, throw that like That's, little pink. Why and, do they do that? And fusion because they want to be noticed. They're not getting looked at. Why do they do that? If your hair's your hair's it's gray, like, it's like throwing a highlighter on yourself. That's you so know? weird, dude. And and trust me, it, it's it gets me looking sometimes. No. I'll see you checking. I'm like, oh fuck, you're like seventy. What it, are you doing? It's so weird. But <laughs> all right, I digress. Uh. It doesn't work when you compare what you've been through because the worst thing that's ever happened to you is the worst thing that's ever happened to you yep. and the and to them. Yeah, that's the worst thing. So th this person getting a flat tire is the worst thing that's ever happened to that person. They don't understand. How that, bad things could get. They don't understand you just lost a friend in war or you just lost your, your friend. They don't understand that. Nope. And, it, and that's, that's life. 
Yep. That, that's how it works. You know, I you know. I caught myself fucking up with that a lot of times. Like I, I would talk to people like they've they know what the fuck I've been through. You know, and I talk to them, right. they, and yeah. they don't they don't know me from fucking you know Tom Dick and Harry motherfuckers, right. dude. And and when I talk to them, I'm like the fuck is is wrong with you? Why don't you understand? Oh, why do I expect you to understand what the fuck I'm talking about? Where I'm coming from when you've never even seen any part of that, right? You know? And 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 I caught myself doing that. Yeah, and it's it's just it's the same as like you know when when you see an it's funny now now that I'm older. When I was younger, when you see an old guy, that's just an old guy. Yep. That's an old person. Yep. Now I go, I go. He was once a, a teenager. What the fuck has that dude seen? Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? He's probably seen a a lot of shit, mm-hmm. obviously. But it's funny how we just go. That's just that's an old guy. That's just, that's just somebody who don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, isn't that weird though that we we oh, feel that way? Yeah. But yeah. but I I never actually had that mentality because like I said, one of my one of my best friends when I was a kid growing up was old Doug White right across the street from my folks' house. He's yep. a World War II vet. Mm-hmm. Taught me fucking agriculture, fucking landscaping, fucking tree trimming, all this shit. And, and that dude was just a, a hardcore killer. Yeah. I had no idea that until I started hanging out with him, you know. And he was like, when I was about to go in the Navy, he's like, yeah. You know, when our uh, sergeants would give us some stupid fucking command and shit, and he's like, We'd send them out on the range to set up the targets, and we'd blow their fucking asses up. Don't ever let anybody fuck with you, Justin. I was yeah. like, I fucking love you, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're yes. a fucking old school gangster, dude. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these. Like, I, I watched some of those interviews, man, from uh, uh, like World War II vets. Yep. And uh, uh, it's funny because they just looked like the old guy that's playing bingo. Yep. But that dude is. But that dude. That dude is fuck some fucking shit up, dude. Fifty fucking Nazis, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we scalped some Nazis. Yeah, in my yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I seen one. I can't remember those guys. I, I gotta forward you this one. But this dude, he was stone cold, man. That motherfucker was a stone cold killer. Yeah, and he, he'll he'll tell you straight up. He don't give a fuck. And he's but he's just old like fat man now. You know, he's just like. But what was funny is my uh, my grandfather Elliot Swan, who I'm named after. When uh, after he passed away, we cleared cleared out his garage and shit, and and I found some some good shit from World War Two because he was in World War Two and so was my grandmother, but he did a uh, over twenty years, so he even seen the Korean War and shit. But I found this fucking it was a Manila envelope and it said, "Here's a tiny piece of shrapnel that whizzed by my ear," and this motherfucker was like that goddamn long, and it was a piece of a mortar that fucking blew up. I don't and know I'm, if that's shrapnel anymore at that size. I mean, it's funny what they call shrapnel, right? <laughs> but I'm like, small piece? I'm like, either he's got a great sense of humor like I do, or this is legit. Like, that was small compared, compared. to what the fuck the shit he's seen, dude, you know? See, that's funny, man, because when you, right, when you say the word shrapnel, I immediately think of little pieces, yeah. right? Yep. I don't think of giant <laughs> shards the size of a machete or anything, <laughs> right? Pieces like that, dude. And that's probably, considering that's probably the size of it, dude. Yep. See, I never thought about that. Yeah. Just a giant machete. Oh, shrapnel. Ah, yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. But I I find, like, I find I do that sometimes. But you you, you kind of have to to put things in perspective. Like, yeah. you know, when your girl's giving you guff. Yeah. Right? Just like, uh, you know what I fucking dealt with today? Yeah. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Yeah. And, but you kind of can't so much, right? Yeah. But there was one time I gave it to her. I, I was like, you know what the fuck I had to deal with today? And I gave it to her. She was like, I'm sorry. But I go, but but it's, it's none of your It doesn't matter. No. Like, it doesn't matter. What am I going to come home every day and give you a fucking dump my whole life on you? Yeah. Yeah. Take out my day on you every single day. Dude. Yeah. That's going to be a, a long lasting relationship. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and that's that's advice I give people on like, if you want your relationship to work for the man, don't dump all your shit on her. Nope. It, it slowly eats away. That's true. It eats away at the sex, for one. What, after that, now you want to have sex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You fucking dumb bitch. You have no idea what the fuck I went through. So uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's up? Dude? Yeah. What's going on? I like the way you're wearing them shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you come home and you're, you just, whatever it is, say you work at the office or something. And you're like, yeah. oh, man, fucking 
Bob, he just won't <laughs> shut the fuck up on, on that side of that cubicle. And he keeps telling me about the fucking t- the TPS reports. I don't want to hear about the goddamn TPS reports. Anyways, baby, I love the way you, you know, like. <laughs> I like the way you're bent over right now. Yeah. She's going to be like, oh, God, I am so bored the with what you're talking here. about. You're dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about TPS. <laughs> <laughs> I just totally took a reference from uh, uh, Office, Office Space. Space dude, that's such a great flick, dude. <laughs> but the swing line, dude. The, we actually the swing line stapler, dude. We had the fucking stapler at my job yeah. just as a joke when I first got there. I was like, "Holy shit, is this the swing line?" <laughs> they made it famous, and only yeah. one of my buddies was like, "Yeah, dude, that's it." Yeah, they, they got it just to mock the movie, and I was like. Nobody else knows about this? Was it a red one? Yeah, it was. Just like in the movie? It was, dude. We're like, nobody takes my stapler. <laughs> yeah. Burn this place down. <laughs> we got a new office for you. It's in but, the basement. But we know, every, why that movie's so good is we know that point when they go with the TPS reports, right? And then they're like, did you get that memo? And then, the, and then the 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 boss goes, yeah, you know the the yeah. passive aggressive, oh, dude, yeah. So if we can just go ahead and do that next time, yeah. and then you're like, fuck you, yeah. dude. Yeah, that, that's yeah. the polite way to say fuck you. He's like, yeah, you fuck bag. Why don't you go ahead and get that shit done so I can go yeah. and fucking relax with my life. Like I, I've heard that so many times in other jobs <laughs> where they go, if we can just go ahead and do that next time, <laughs> what? What do you mean we? Just say fucking you need me to do it. I need you to do this. Yeah, Yeah. just say fucking you need me to do that. Yeah, there's no we. You you didn't put in on this, man. (laughs) But I guess there is a nicer way. You do have to go, we got to work on this. Because that is also advice. If you go, now I've given this advice to somebody where they're, they love their wife, okay? Mm -hmm. Their wife is getting huge, getting way out of shape. Which, which, by the way, when you get older, that happens. I ain't mad at you. Plus, I kind of like it sometimes when my girl puts on a little. I ain't mad at it <laughs> in the back there. A right. little, little durability. <laughs> you know? Sometimes I'm back there going, I enjoy this. But, but, uh, but what I'm saying, it, it got a little out of control for this individual. All right. And here's the advice. Is you go, we need to do this together. Let's, we're gonna go hit mitts together. We're gonna we're gonna go have some fun together, man. We're gonna right. we're gonna go hit the gym together. We're gonna go to the beach together. We're gonna go all run, these things. Run at the park. It's you know, not talking. you need to go do this. If you love someone, we're gonna do this because this will help me get in better shape, right? And usually, guys, I'm gonna say this because I, I rip on chicks all the time, but here we go, guys. The reason, a lot of times, the reason why she's starting to get that way. Is because you're lazy as fuck, too. You don't give a fuck about how you look, so why is she going to give a fuck about how she looks? Right. Chicks feed off of your energy. Definitely. 100%. Yep. If you're depressed, she's depressed. Definitely. If you're killing, she's killing. Yep. That happens, and that's whoever, however you guys want to spin that, that's that's, that's a fact. That's facts. That's facts. Yep. Women feed off of your energy. So when you see your woman getting sloppy or lame, now this doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes a bitch is a bitch, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it. like my daddy always said, bitches be crazy. Just. Yeah. And and if she look, if she doesn't want to help herself, then then you got to get out of there. Yeah. But a lot of times it's because you've got you've gotten a little sloppy. Yep. So. So and that was an advice that I gave uh, my boy at the time. I, I said, "You need to up your gym game. Start getting shredded." Yep. Believe me, she'll follow suit. Oh yeah, she'll she'll want to catch up. Oh yeah, because yeah. well, then then there's also that problem too. When once a dude starts getting shredded and she's not, then she's like, "Oh well, who are you fucking? Who are you trying to look good for?" Yes, sir, you're correct. And then that vice, is a thing. And then vice versa. Say the dude's a sloppy mess, and the fucking chick starts working out. And he's like, "Oh, who are you fucking?" You know. But it, but just like you said, if if yeah. you do it together as a fucking team, yeah. then, sh- then hey, I'm trying to look good for you. You're trying to get, look good for me, and I want to last a lot longer in the bedroom, girl. How's that? But I do understand there there is incident. There there's. Ha- I was about to say a word that I can't pronounce. Incidences is that correct? There's incidences. That that doesn't sound right to me. There's incidents. There's incidents. Is that right? Sorry, guys. Help me on that one. All right. Anyway, <laughs> but uh. There, there's there's times that where uh, he's she's just get, she's just not having it, and there's someone that we both know where where 
He's in great shape, training like a motherfucker. And she's just getting gross and she's complaining about it and da 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 da. You know, I, and I think when that happens sometimes you it's need just to sprinkle a little meth on the cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta do you gotta do something. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden she's cleaning the house, everything looks good, and you're like, But eh. but also there's the, like like here's a great example. Uh uh I'll go see like my girl play, right? Mm. And she's up there killing. Right now, some people I know some whatever. Uh, some people get jealous. Not me. I get pumped. And how I do it, I I go. I got to step it up. I got to step it the fuck up. No. Yep. And and I'm proud of my girl when she's killing. When she's up there killing. But I'm going. Damn, I'm sucking. I got to. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like I just I just played to five people. I sucked, dude. <laughs> well, well, that's natural, dude. <laughs> you, you know. know I mean? But but you you gotta. I think to have a healthy. A healthy uh, competition, you know what I mean? Yep. It is good. Yeah, hell yeah, it's good. We you want each other? Hell yeah, because yeah. yeah, say she goes and see you killing it, and then she does the same shit. She's like, "Fuck, here I thought I was great, but I need to step it up a little bit more." And, and I I see that happen because she the, she's an excellent songwriter, oh. but she a lot of times she doesn't she doesn't uh, jump on it. She doesn't feel inspired sometimes. But I know I know when she sees me uh, kill one, then she'll she'll go and kill one. Hell yeah. You know, but there's there's a there is a time where it, if it doesn't if it doesn't uh, match up, I understand how that can cause a problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's on both sides. I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna bring it back because this this today, I'm a I'm I'm against men. I'm a feminist right now. Okay. <laughs> I am a feminist because feminists like to show their tits, right? So I'm in. <laughs> right. I'm a feminist today. I, <laughs> I definitely love yep. strong women. Yep. Love it. 100%. Now, not you fake ass strong women. I'm a, I'm a boss bitch. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'm smoking. Look at how strong I am. I'm, I'm proud and, of my body. I'm and, body. And I'm a bitch, so that means I'm tough. Yep. You know? That no, no. That means you'll get slapped the fuck out of the gun. By the way, <laughs> by the way, no real boss bitch that runs her shit calls herself a boss bitch. Yeah. Not one. Yeah. They're busy working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I no I, I guess I would be the ultimate feminist. I love strong fucking women that can handle business. Mm. Love that. I like I like I like women's cans. You guys walk around topless, right? Fuck, I'm in. I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah, I'm good you, with it. You know what they say about titties? Once you see one set, you want to see them all. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> it's not one. You know, no. not one and done. It's one and all of them. No, yeah, yeah. I, I you know what I mean. I like the fact that you guys want to go to work. Yeah, feminist. Go to work. Hey, but there is there is that whole thing too where where they're like <laughs> equal, equal rights and equal jobs. Nah, I don't really see a chick handling a jackhammer. Hold on, I don't see a chick doing I, the fucking iron work. I would love stories up in the air. I dude. would love to stay home and just clean the house all day. <laughs> You know what I mean? Be a boss bitch. Well, okay, Let's e- go. Equal would be great for us because we could just do the shit that women do. But when Hell it comes yeah. to a woman trying to do the same shit that men do, like. Like let's say climb the cell towers, be an replace, iron worker. Uh, yeah, climb the yeah. cell towers to replace that light bulb. You know, fucking what have you? There's certain things that not a whole lot of women are going to do. There's going to be a small percentage. Yeah, of yeah. course, because you got you got the chicks that are just you know fuck it, I can handle anything. But then you're going to have most of the chicks that are like, no, that's too scary. Yeah, or that's that's too much. But also, we now never mind men or women. We all are not equal. And let me tell you why. No, we're not. Because there's a lot of shit men can't do that men can do. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. There's a lot of shit I can't do. Yeah. I I'm I can't fucking play professionally in the NBA. So you know. So it's not equal. No. It's not equal. No. There's like I, you want to complain. Let's bring it back. Like, uh, should I get paid the same as Pennywise? Yeah. Baby is Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I dealt with that, and and I laugh because the. You know how long I got? Yeah, I got three days. <laughs> I got well, I got three days. But 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 he knows something. <laughs> yeah, but and, and but hold yeah. on, it's not bullshit. That's life. That's how it's yeah. gonna go. That's how life is gonna go. She needs to take care of that kid. Okay, but sometimes there's a reason why there's uh, a boss needs to pay somebody uh, correctly. 
Yep. So I'm going to bring it back to should should Gogo Ride get paid the same as Pennywise? Fuck no. Pennywise puts butts in the seats, right? We do not. Okay? We'll fill up the doll hut. Okay? <laughs> Pennywise will do five nights in in you know what I mean? In yeah. in, in a, and, a in a and giant tour. club and yeah. yeah, they they can tour around. So it doesn't work that way, guys. Right. That's just life. Yeah. Okay, maybe one day I'll get there, but and if if not put butts in the seats that's what pays that's yep. the way it goes i'm sorry yeah you know the a doctor female doctor that 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 puts in all the same hours as this doctor that is fucking that, that is changing out knees not a lot of women doing knee replacements i'm yep. sure there's one somewhere yep. not a lot yeah it's exactly. just it's just not it's Dif- okay and it's okay guys yeah. relax it's a different playing field where yeah. it's a different world yeah and and i can't put i can't do the same as this guy we're yeah. not all equal yeah. it is not no yeah. I, I can't lift the same weight that fucking arnold could in his prime you right know? jesus right you know? come on no or, it's just it's just that that whole dude that shit, it's a dumb discussion it really yeah. does annoy me too when you drive behind a car and you see that little equal sign and you're like you're not even equal to me you're not equal to me. I'm not equal to you. It, no. it, it's we're not equal, guys. No, no, we're we're two totally different people. We're not because I will smash you, steal your car, and fucking you know go to your house and fucking pillage your home. It's a, we <laughs> like it, you want to be treated equal. Okay, I'm with that. Like yeah. like hey bro, how you doing? Like uh, I don't hate you. Um, now when you start speaking, you suck. Yeah. Now I'm out. <laughs> now now I don't want you in my life. Yeah. But there's. It, it, that is a weird thing that's going on and i don't i don't understand it because it's and if if you bring it to the let's just go into physical sports situation this is a weird discussion that people are having for some reason like let's 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 make a, a the worst nba player that never you've never seen him he's on the bench the whole time Still let's w- put him in the wnba he's going to be dunking he'll, he's going to score 100 points He'll kill it. He's going to be dunking over and every the girl. the worst woman in the WNBA is going to work me over on the court, too. Absolutely. 100%. Yep. 100%. And I love to play basketball, but I'll get worked over by a fucking WNBA chick. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. That, that, that's a fact. Yep. And that's okay, guys. Yeah. It's okay. I'm good with it. Yeah. But- what, I got worked by a chick at basketball? What the fuck do I care? The people that are having these, these that where they really believe these things, they've never set foot into anything. That's true. And That's it, true. They've never been a part of a sport. They've yeah. never fucking, they don't, they've never been on a team. They fucking, don't, they don't no. understand it. No. And it's, if you want to be like men, women are equal, say in combat sports, that is, the, the, the best way is, I always say this, I go, any woman Go ahead, any woman that isn't fucking the top-notch UFC fighter, but any woman, take my hand off your wrist. See if you can peel my hand off your wrist. That wrist control. It's called wrist control. No woman can do it unless you've been training your whole life. Right. Take my hand off. Now, a man, of course. Yeah. But a woman cannot. Yep. And and that's just a fact, and it's okay. Yeah. It's it's just it's just the and sometimes women don't understand that, and a lot of men don't understand like fighting. You don't understand what it's like to get hit in the face, so you you don't understand life. Yeah. You don't understand things like that. Yeah, you know. Because once once you get past that, you've been hit a few times. You're like, oh shit, I'm not made a made out of glass. I can handle this. But you understand, and I can like, deliver. You ever seen like YouTube videos where when someone gets hit in the face, they they panic. There's yeah. a panic that goes over their body. Oh yeah, right. And a lot of people people that have gotten into fights or have worked uh, any sort of combat sport or whatever. It, it there's not a panic you it either pumps you up or yeah. it gets you it, it definitely gets you in moods but people there's most of the world does not understand that that's a fact yeah and and it's funny i i even explained it to my son i'm like you get hit that's a learning lesson yeah now you knew you should have just fucking either slipped bobbed yeah. and weaved you should have been bobbing and weaving <laughs> on that one <laughs> yeah you know it's a learning experience so you know every scar fucking has its teaching right but it and that goes for anything. Let's just make it True. anything. Art. Let's just make it art. Yep. Man, when I started tattooing, boy, that seemed easy to hit those shades. Boy, that seemed easy to hit those tiny lines. Man, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Man, I could do it. I can do it now. But hours and hours of literally sitting there by myself trying to figure that out. Oh, I bet. Right? Fucking up people's skin. <laughs> trying to figure that shit out, man. God bless y'all. Hey, look, my bad tattoos are still better than a lot of your guys'. 
that you have. <laughs> you, you good, <laughs> your good ones that you charge several hundred dollars yeah. more for. <laughs> yeah. But but also, then there's these guys that blow my fucking mind, some of my friends that are tattooers that blow my fucking mind with the shit that they can do. By the way, we're not equal. <laughs> we should not be getting equal tattoo pay yeah. as the yeah. shit I do that they do. You know, you're no Paul yeah. Booth, dude. No, no, no way. No <laughs> way. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a lot of these guys. These guys yeah. are incredible, yeah. man. And you it's because I mean? they've dedicated, like like Paul, that's a great example. Paul Booth, right? Dude, hey, Paul Booth. Phenomenal. Now, here we go. Let's go hit a baseball. I bet you I can do that better than, than you, right? Probably. I bet you I'm a better guitar player than Paul Booth. I bet you I am. You I know? bet you I'm a better bass player than Paul Booth, right? Yeah. We're not equal there. Nope. Right, but so, he dedicated his life to doing that style that he does, yep. and he makes a lot of money doing Hell it. God yeah. bless you. And I think that is a great example of picking something that y- you can kill at. That's damn. Yeah. That's that's perfect, dude. I was gonna say, yep. There's the man that found the one thing that fucking took all his interest and fucking he could put a lot of his energy and his soul into, right? And fucking do something positive with it. Like one of our boys that needs to do something just <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pick anything. It doesn't matter what it is. No. What I was going to Makes suggest. You fucking happy. What I was going to suggest to our boy today is uh, start. W- uh, the gym is very important. Exercise. Definitely. Now, now the gym is just a, a word to say exercise because yep. this is a statistic that this is true. Sixty percent of Americans do not lift their arms above their head. 60% of Americans, I'm going to say that again, do not lift their arm. Now, it's a stat. Who knows who does these fucking dumb stats? But that's, but that's pretty sad, dude. Right, because they live a lot here, right? A lot is here, Yeah. right? A lot a lot is computers, desks, and, and you're talking about it, somebody who's pretty good at the computer and shit, right? But a lot of these guys uh, don't do this, right? They don't. That's, they're not moving their body. Right. That's, that's sad because that's that's one of my workouts with the dumbbells, dude. Yeah. I, got, I go straight the fuck up, dude. Yeah, and I'm gonna maybe I'll stop saying gym because that scares a lot of people or, or whatever. But there needs to be an, an exercise. Well, if they're scared, they don't they don't belong in the gym anymore. Because <laughs> right, but but because what's happening is our lives are easy, right? We have to do things to sort because our bodies are made to work. Muscles are made to work yep. to go find food to build a shelter to. Uh, to uh, take food back to our families, right, it's, dude? It's a lot easier yeah. from even since since when we were kids. You couldn't fucking just yeah, it's easy. Look on your phone and fucking have food delivered to your yeah. house unless it was pizza, right? right? That was the only fucking thing we had back then. But cons- Not, now you right. can have anything. Considering like back in the day, our lives considerably get easier every generation. Yep, that's a fact. That is uh, physically physically get easier from when my my dad. From my dad and his dad's dad and on and on and on and on, and on right? And so we have to do things so our body works. Yeah. And that's a fact. You got to keep up that strength. Because I'm not fighting bears out there to try to get that deer. You know, you're yeah. not digging your tractor out of a fucking ditch, you know, just to fucking plow the field to fucking make food. That's a better example. Yep. But, uh, me going back to caveman is not the best way. Uh Going back to where you, you have to farm, you have to go make your own food. Wake up early as shit, take care of all the livestock, fucking do all that. Right, and right. Just, just to exist. Exactly. Just to exist, just so you can feed your kids, where the only thing on your mind is making sure your kids aren't hungry. Yep. Right? Because as a man, I imagine, when your kids are hungry and you can't provide that, that's got to kill you, right? Oh, hell yeah. That's that's why there's robberies and shit like that nowadays, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Because you 100%. Know, can't fucking do it. 100%. So what we have to do now in order for our bodies to work is we have to make up shit to lift. We have yep. to make up oh, yeah. shit to run. We run We run in circles, yep. right? We fucking run in circles. It's, <laughs> it's silly if you think about it. Run in one place on a fucking moving platform. Or you're a speed walker. <laughs> you're the lady that's a speed walker. <laughs> or you're that broad that you sent me on the bike. Dude. Yeah. No, that was a guy. That was a guy. That was a dude. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a guy. I thought it was a broad dude. Wait, are you, are you correct? Will you pull that up? Let me, Here, let pull me, that up. Yeah. I sent Justin a crazy bike, you know, like, with the helmet and the outfit. Because you know was, how I feel about the outfit. This thing was glorious. If you guys are a listener, you know how I feel about these outfits. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was glorious, dude. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Here, here we go. All right, let, let me see. see. Here Let's zoom in. Let me see. You said that's a... No, that's a dude, bro. He's look. He's got a beard. He's got a white beard. He's an older fella. It, 
do, but I swear I saw tits. Oh no, it's just a shirt. No, that's a dude. Oh, okay, <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the. <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, by the way, I totally slowed down. I slowed down and pulled up next to him. Dude, I look knew it. you did that because <laughs> I could see the slant from your window, dude. And I was like, that's I immediately my go. Boy. I immediately go. Justin's got to look at this. I got. <laughs> I was like, and I know he pulled over to the side too. I was like, oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know how I feel, baby. You know how I feel with the helmets and the outfits <laughs> and, and the, the fucking. <laughs> it was just. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of. <clears throat> we're moving, you know. I'm trying to get them, but I totally slowed down traffic to be like. When I first saw it, just, just from the small view, I was like, "Damn, that broad's fucked up." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When he's leaving the house, his wife is like, "Honey, come just, on, man, just, just don't come back. Just yeah, go and ride the bike, and then don't come back, please." You don't have that flag and the white stick, so you don't get hit by cars, do you? You don't. Okay, good. Go, when go ahead. When does that happen? Because I look, I slowly am starting to feel like I don't give a fuck either. You know what I'm saying? But then you see stuff like that, and you're like, "I do give a fuck," because I'll never let myself look like that. But I remember, like. Here, my, maybe an example of I don't give a fuck is I'm now in the locker room. Don't give a fuck about putting clothes on fast. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just <laughs> naked walking into the shower now. Like, I'm that guy now. No, if you don't give a fuck, you'll do the fucking Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there. Not uh, in Long Beach, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's different times. Now. Yeah, <laughs> but I am starting to feel a little bit where. Like in the morning when I'm walking my dogs, I look ridiculous. Yeah. My, my, I got my socks pulled up with my shorts and my sandals, my fucking hair. You know, I, like I totally don't give a fuck. Oh, well, dude, dude, the other day I, I caught myself too because I had uh, like some fucking, some thin pants to sleep with and shit, but they're too long, so I tuck them into my socks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one, dude. dude. Dude, I came out on my patio and I was smoking without a shirt and I'm wearing this shit and I look down and I'm like... <laughs> I would have kicked my own ass, dude, if I would have seen me just rolling by, dude. That's a bad one. Yeah, and especially, I mean, sometimes this is, it's fun, but Jen and I were engaging in sexual congress, right? And uh, I rolled in, and, 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 and she hates socks and nothing on. You know, it's ridiculous looking. I had black socks on, and I pulled them way up. <laughs> nothing on. And I go, I go, this arouse you? Let's does, go. Does, does, does this arouse you? <laughs> right? So, so you, you're starting to like not give a fuck age. So I'm wondering if I'm that age, will I start be wearing a helmet with my bike, with my bicycle? I don't see it happening, dude. Are you that? Are you going to fall? Why are you wearing a helmet, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's not a fall. It's not a long fall. To you're, the ground, wear, you're wearing cranberry smugglers. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and wh why does everything have to be neon colors? Hold dude? on, hold on. Hey, <laughs> why is he, why hey, is he? hey for the listener, I'm going to I'm going to post this picture with the video. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Dude, because he's got neon arm sleeves. Yeah. He's, he's got, got he's Okay, got shorts with pants on underneath. I'm going to I'm going to describe this. So he's he's got one of these bikes. I I'm going to let's see if I can get good at uh, video editing. I'm going to put the picture right here, okay? Right here. I'm going to put the picture right here. Let's see if I can get oh, good at pointing at it. And uh so there's one of those bikes. It has a big back wheel. It's a. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a clown bike. It has a front small wheel, <laughs> and then it has the the sprocket and the cranks. If you're familiar with bikes, the sprocket and the cranks way in the front. So he's elevated, pedaling Sitting like down. this. Again, this is how you know Ian's not giving a fuck. <laughs> look at look at my feet. You, you know what's funny? I thought you were wearing shoes, actually, dude. Because I, I got my vans, my stylish much, vans. That's, that's how much I give a fuck. But but I and I got and I got w thick wool socks on. <laughs> Ian's ninja turtled out right now, dude. <laughs> so there you go. But but uh, but the point is, is that so? Never mind me. Never mind me. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about this ridiculous thing that we're yeah, looking at. Yeah. And he's got the sprocket, and he's hovered up. He's wearing a a helmet. With a with like a do rag, he's a white guy with a do rag yeah. over his neck. He has an under a neon undershirt and then a biker overshirt. Okay, right. He got, he got shorts on with some pants. He's underneath. got shorts with some tights underneath, and he's wearing gloves. <laughs> he he has, by the way, a camera on his helmet. See that? Oh yeah. See that? He's got a camera on his helmet. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> and he's wearing the the like goggle shades. Like this guy, he's just and not he's, trying to get laid at all. And he's got these shoes that fit perfectly into the into the pedals. He's, he's got the Peter Pan. He's got the clip clop Peter Pan <laughs> shoes on, dude. <laughs> he's just never trying to get laid ever. He, he, well, he must have. I guarantee you, someone's father. That's somebody's father. Yeah. So, uh, so dude, some lady was sad. like, "Bring it on, big boy." <laughs> She, she said, "Don't take the shorts off." Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> leave the clip. Leave the Peter Pan shoes on. Leave the shoes on. We're off to Neverland. <laughs> She's like, "All right, I can't handle anything, but the the helmet with the camera that'll work." When when does that? All right, all right. When does that happen? When does that happen in life? Now, if when you really don't give a fuck. But if that if that was my dad. Now, now let's be honest. My dad sometimes tucks in. He'll tuck in the shirt with the spandex shorts on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why he's going for a walk. All right. Why he's going for a walk, he's doing this. <laughs> and it's getting higher. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he does the coach thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does the coach thing. <laughs> Every time he talks, he does this. With the it snaps that elastic back to his waist. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of all my coaches did. Yeah. Like, what are you doing here, Swan? <laughs> and my dad's a coach, so or, or he was. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, but sometimes I go, I want to be like, why are you tucking in, Pop? Yeah, what are you tucking in for? Yeah, who are you trying to impress? And dude? maybe just it's because that's back in the day. Maybe they tucked in a lot, yeah. so it's comfortable for him. The tuck it in is, is comfortable. It is. It's like the uh, the leg crossing thing that I always right. thought was weird. The man. Over leg crossing, yeah. Yeah. fucking weird to me. That's but, weird to me too. But it's an older dude thing. That that's something that I've seen. It's I've a, never seen my dad do that one. I've never seen my dad do it neither. <laughs> but hey, hey, hold on, <laughs> hold on. When you said that, you gave yourself a little puff right there. I've never seen my dad do that shit either. No, no. Like, I, I ain't gonna see my dad do that. Because <laughs> no, no. yeah. I always told him to do. If I ever see you do that, we're not gonna talk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen my dad do the full leg no. cross. No, but I, but I have seen dudes that are my dad's age do that same shit, and I'm but like, I'm like, how is that comfortable? And do you got to lift? You have to lift. You got to. You got to pull right. it way to the front. Yeah. And yeah. What's the point of that then? Just just fucking do the uh, the old square. Yeah. Know? Like, let's be honest. I'm a little bit sitting on my sack right now. You know, a we, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just, now that I mention, it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. That quarter back part, let dude. Me, let me started, fix that real quick. Start right. tuck into it. Yeah. Let me just <laughs> grab, grab a pinch of the sack and slide it on up. <laughs> you know, that's just sitting normal. Imagine yeah. crossing this fucking so thing, dude. So if I were to cross it, now, have I ever, I think I've done that. I think I've tried to do that. And you, you can do it. Yeah. But you have to, I'm going to do it. Hold on a sec. You're definitely gonna have to fully adjust, dude. Yeah, and I'm gonna adjust for this camp. But I'm wearing jeans. I've been sitting. Hold on yeah. a sec. Yeah, see. Right. <laughs> I almost had to talk like a lady, dude. <laughs> you see what it's doing to you already? <laughs> I almost. I did an opposite tuck. You know how like fucking trannies will, yeah. will stick to like that. I'll just tuck this in right quick. I tucked it out. I pulled it out. All right. So now and then. It's kind of comfortable. Well, but see, I got the fucking knee thing. That you know, it's not. Yeah. It hurts my knee a little bit. See, I've I've yeah. always done just the square. You know, my my fucking ankle on top of my this knee. right here. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that's. Yeah, you got. There's space here. Exactly, and that's that's what I need. Yeah, the yeah. the the sack is fully yeah. uh, available. I'm just ready to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's fully presenting. Yeah. I'm presenting. Yeah, yeah. right out. <laughs> Yeah, that is weird, and I guarantee that guy on the bike sits, dude, he sits all the time. He's cross, dude. All the, yeah. like Larry David, Hell right? Yeah. Sits like this all the time, right? I've never understood this too. Like when I see fucking runners and shit, dude, and they got the uh, the spandex, the leg warmers with shorts on over them. I'm like, why? Why? What? What, oh, what is the point of that? Why wear the shorts over? Is yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's to cover up the dick, right? Because it's right. weird to just walk around with, with those tights. But, I mean, why not just wear some sweatpants? You know? Or why not just wear the shorts? Without the... Right. Why you have the leg warmers? Yeah. Yeah, but it's the same shit of, like, like, like girls will, will wrap a sweater around their ass. You know what I mean? Because they don't want to show their ass. So I don't look at it? Well, well, fucking bitches. I think it's a little bit of that, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, in the, in the gym, there's a lot of chicks that... that there's, see, there's the opposite in the gym where the chicks are like, look at this look ass. At, this is all you're going to look at. And it's all up in their yeah, ass. Right? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. And then there's the other chick that's like, I'm almost there, but I'm not ready to present yet. So yeah. I'm going to take a sweater for some reason. It's 100 degrees outside, and I'm going to tie this sweater yeah. around my ass. Makes me think about that douchebag that's out yeah. in 100 degree weather, but he's got that stupid he's beanie. He's got the beanie on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm cool. No, you're a sweaty asshole. <laughs> yeah, I know that head probably <laughs> yeah, is getting fucking herpes, dude. It's like, it's like them broads wearing fucking fur boots in the middle of summer. And you're like, ah, oh, right. dude, those are some sweaty ass dogs. You know that shit. Them things are right. barking, dude. <clears throat> but I think that's what it is. Is they want the leg warmers, but they don't want to present their their niblets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're like, I'm gonna get made fun of for a different reason. You know, I've today. never said niblets in my life. That's <laughs> yeah, the first time I've ever dude, done that, it. That, that, it was perfect. Though. See the cast; it brings out different different <laughs> niblets. verbiage. Niblets. <laughs> no, the best one that you came out with it was when you were talking about the neighbors, and you're like, "Who the fuck hates handicapped people?" And you're like, "Yo, Wheeler." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that one fucking either. killed me. Every time I seen the handicap sign, I'm like, "You fucking you wheeler. Like a wheeler!" Yeah, let <laughs> hey, let's start hating on handicap people. <laughs> I I hate I I hate handicap people. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck, dude? You know that's a great platform. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. That's where, that's where I'm gonna stand on. Where and, I'm gonna be on stage. If you're handicapped, get the fuck out of my show. Name of our band's handy anti cap anti cap. <laughs> Instead of anti flag, anti cap. And we have the same shit that they have. Their same logos, except we just change it to a wheelchair. It's upside down wheelchair logo. <laughs> it's upside down wheelchair. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh uh, yes, that's so funny. <laughs> to fill anyone in, they're just like there, there's a sign that says we do, we respect the disabled up the street. That now that sign is gone because they've uh, that the fad is over. But yeah. along it was it was a sign of lists of all the stuff that they love. You know, they love Black Lives Matter, of course. They love they love uh, uh, all gay guys, right? They're yeah. cool there. Now it was worded differently, I'm sure, but. And then it said we respect the disabled in this, and I and I stopped. I go, well, who the fuck who, doesn't? Who hates disabled people? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what the fuck? So stupid, dude. It's uh, like it's like was there one person that's like fucking wheelies? Get the fuck out of here, dude, you know? Dude, I was watching this uh, old school horror flick called the uh, The Gate with my son the other day and it was so fucking perfect dude this kid was fucking with his uh his sister's fucking boyfriend and you know and he was like I i'm not gonna listen to what you have to say and he, he walks up and he goes fag and <laughs> runs away dude and i was like oh my god so i fucking Ooh, the kid said it yeah the kid, okay that's funny dude he's like Girl. like six or seven you know he fucking calls him fag and run, he's like hey you know he <laughs> kid runs away and i'm just laughing my ass off my son goes what did he say daddy and i was like call him a fag and he's like, what the hell's that mean? And I was like, oh, that, that's what we used to call gay people back in the days. And he was like, oh, so that dude's gay? And I was like, no, but calling somebody gay when you're not gay is even worse. You know, that, that'll that upset you. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. Like, well, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll jump on, on top of that one. Basically, like, calling someone a fag doesn't even mean gay no. to me, right? It no, means just, you're just being lame. Yeah, you're weird. You're yeah, weird and lame. Yeah, dude. so, so hey, gay people... <laughs> That doesn't even mean you. I would say get rid of that. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Don't don't be upset. Right. That doesn't even mean you. Right. It means our friends that are not are being lame. Yeah. Like like stop being a faggot and suck that dick. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. you know, we used to play games called smear the queer. And, yeah. And nobody wanted to be the queer because you're just gonna get hit with the ball. That doesn't mean you're fucking gay and you suck dick or anything like that. That just meant you didn't want to be that well, guy. Well, queer means you're weird. Yep. It, it had nothing to do really with sexuality originally. If yeah. we wanted to jump into that, it means you're just weird. You're a weird guy. Yep. And then they yeah. turn that into that too. You know. Right. That's... Yeah. So so look, gay people. It's cool. It's yeah. cool that you like you like to blow people's fucking cheeks open. It's fine. <laughs> we don't care. We just, don't care. But just don't advertise it. I, but I am going to call people fags. I'm gonna. But I'm not. Look, I'm not gonna call a gay guy a fag though. Like I, you know oh, what I mean. I, I I got a couple of gay friends that I call fags all the time. Dude. Man, that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. different. Yeah, especially when you know them, dude. It's like yeah. if I call you a Mick. Yeah, <laughs> filthy Mick. You know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm actually intrigued. <laughs> Although any you, any Irish thing is you can't offend there, us. Nothing's hurtful for no. for Irish shit. No. I can't call you anything. What what do you got, Mick? Potato uh, eater. Fucking potato <laughs> eater. <Yeah>. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I tell you that uh, that Irish joke. So there's a, a black dude, a Mexican dude, and an Irish dude. They're all at the bar. All three of them get a shot, you know. 
yeah. fly fucking lands into all three of their drinks. So the black guy's like, ah, fuck this, you know. Tells the fucking bartender, give me another shot. The Mexican dude takes the fly out, takes a shot, you know, looks over at the Irish guy like, oh, I'm a man. Irish guy takes the fly out, takes a shot, then squeezes the fly over the shot and goes, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Like oh oh that's the the other derogatory is like Irish love to drink right yeah, yep yeah isn't that you can do that with a like the Scottish too you can do that like with on anybody. my side the Scots you know you can do Scots. that with anybody yeah. dude I mean I mean Cinco de Drinco you know fuck yeah you know yeah. anybody you everybody do that loves with. the drink yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like a, a you know the the Jews Lachaim <laughs> right the man of Shevitz right oh, dude I forgot to tell you I I checked out a uh, Guns and Noses yeah. <laughs> 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 and, and it's just a song by some weird ass little techno oh, it's there. kid. Yeah, it's a it's a song made by some weird little techno kid. I like the idea that we had of a Jewish Guns N' Roses cover band yeah. a lot better than what I saw, dude. I think I didn't make it up though. No, you didn't because that's that's a kid that just released a song. No, but I heard it somewhere on yeah. a, on a I can't either on I th- not on a podcast on an old because I listen to a lot of old radio shows by Howard Stern yeah Opie and Anthony I'll listen to that so it was in one of those and I can't put my my, my foot I can't put my nose on it <laughs> you know but <laughs> well that's that's probably my Jewish nose that's probably yeah. what, what he was talking about though because the first thing I, I as soon as I heard that I was like man I gotta look this up dude and there's some weird techno kid uh, okay and his song's called Guns and Noses and I was like man it would have been a lot better as a Jewish cover band dude. that that's like, funny dude we should do like or the 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 Jew like imagine if it's because Guns and Roses like to do coke but but <laughs> Just the giant lines, guns <laughs> instead of guns and roses, guns and noses doing fucking lines, dude. I was picturing the logo too, like the two cross guns and a couple of noses. Yeah, coming out, dude. dude, that's hilarious. That it's, it's funny. Yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna take it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I made right. it up. I made it up. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think my brilliance came up with that shit. That's Ian's guns and noses. Hey, speaking of skits, so I had a skit I wanted to do. I thought it'd be funny. I don't know if it comes across, but Jen and I were laughing about this. About uh, like, so the skit is. Uh, it's a caveman family, right? And the the but the caveman family, they have one like woke son, and he's got oh, the he's got God the hair, and he's got the hair, yes. right? So, but but the caveman son speaks speaks fucking English, but the rest of the the the, the they go, oh, oh, oh. Oh. so the so the 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 father's out just killed a saber tooth tiger, right? He fucking brings it back. He's like, oh, oh. They're in and, danger, Dad. Yeah, and the fucking and and the woke son's upset because he's a vegetarian, and he's like, eh, they fucking. <laughs> and he gets all mad and so they're sitting there they're they're the whole even the like they get the daughter the son the son's the woke guy the daughter doesn't speak english either <laughs> and and then they're in there just tearing apart this fucking and he's like ah oh, it's so it, it's what, what, whatever it's so 34 bc for you to do this you know? it's like, <laughs> you know. anyways i thought that right me and jenna were dying laughing about that yeah. Hell yeah, that shit will work with some puppets, dude. Fuck yeah. Hey, if anybody wants to steal that skit, you can have it. But I, I, <laughs> like, I'm done with it. I think that'd be hilarious, though, that right? Shit would, dude. And, and like the the woke kid is like the kid, like Bill Hader in uh, in <laughs> yes. uh, Saturday Night Live. You, you know, you know that character yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. Hell yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, where he goes, oh, he's, he's fucking yeah. <laughs> that yeah, that's the character. Hell yeah, that's that's uh-huh. fucking. All right, man. Uh, I think we we I, I could go on forever. This is a good cast, son. Uh, yeah. Here, pour me another one. Hold on, let me down. I'm gonna down this because look, we drink way too much on this uh, podcast. You know what, Ian? I don't think you have a problem. I, huh? I don't think you have a problem at all, bro. I'm just gonna say that. From, look, hold from, on. From one man to another, and I'm gonna say something too. If somebody is throwing for your issue. If someone's throwing your boys under the bus, that it's their fault, right? Uh, that's a problem. Then you got to man up. Yep. Because look, if I've been at many parties where people are doing many drugs, and I go, now nah, I'm good with my whiskey. You know, I've been walking down the street yeah. and seeing people smoke crack. Doesn't mean I went over there and joined them. Exactly. You know, fuck. Because I'm, I'm a man. Exactly. I, I yep. do whatever. Whatever problem I have is my fucking problem. Yeah, I like my cocaine pure. I don't like crack. That's right. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> oh, oh, real quick, though, in another note, and I'm just talking with you guys, and I'm going to end the cast. Uh, there, There's definitely, with blow everybody, I just want to put this out there. It is cut with all kinds of dangerous shit. I would advise against fentanyl. a lot of fentanyl. all the fentanyl. 
and what they just found a, a counterfeit pill mill in China for for uh, opiates like Percocets and shit like that. And they're funneling it in. It's being bought by the cartel to get that in here. And so we, you can let your, your conspiracy mind go crazy. But and also 40 percent of that of the counterfeit pills are over uh, uh, overfilled with fentanyl. Yep. So there's too much where mm-hmm. it'll kill. You. It's going oh, yeah. to kill you. Yep. So I just want to put that out there because, look. I love a perky. I love yeah. a little perky set with my shit. I like a little oxy. Yeah, but I'm not trying to die. I just want to get high. Yes, <laughs> hey, I like that. <laughs> nice. Hey, you got a lot of a lot of these good ones, man. <laughs> but I think uh, I just want to say that be very careful, everybody, <clears throat> with whatever you do out there. I'm serious. There, there's something going on out yep. there. Somebody's trying to make money off your death. Yeah, and I very much. Uh, I'm. I have a little bit of my ear to the ground and to things about pills and things like that because you know i've i've had 12 surgeries so i i know a little bit about these uh this medication nope and uh to do not buy that shit off the street no do not buy that shit off the street no holy fuck and, and if you anybody google that there's a list of kids and everybody that's dying from just having a little pill yeah. at, a, at a frat party or something you know. boy i sound old no 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 dude that, <laughs> that goes like an back old man. to that uh that goes back to the SLC punk thing. What fucking heroin Bob? Yeah. Never did fucking heroin in his life. Takes one fucking headache fucking pill and fucking yeah. dies, dude. That you happens, know, man. So, I'm you know, telling you. It really does. I'm telling you. So that's backing up more of my Telemadu. Drink Telemadu. Hey, Telemadu. Drink Telemadus and the BLs, man. Drink the Bud Lights. Wait, wait, well, I only brought this. I don't even like this fucking beer. I only brought it because I, I was planning on my friend being here. And I knew that that he didn't like this kind of beer, so I I thought I'd bring some trash and just show him, hey, I can still drink it. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, here I'm going to say something too. So so Jenna, here's what I was going to do for our boy today. I was gonna we were going to give him a little bit of advice and and go look. I got your back, son. Here's how I got your back. I'm going to buy you a gym pass. I'm going to buy you an annual gym pass. That's a pretty sweet that's what, fucking. That's what I said. That's a solid hookup. Isn't man. that a cool hookup? That dude? is, dude. It doesn't matter. Well, I go. I, I was gonna say, don't even lift weights. Just sit. Just sit in there for thirty minutes. Go. They have massage chairs in there. Go well, in the massage chairs. Well, I yep. mean, I mean, if he can show up to my boy's house a half an hour before he's even fucking home, he can hit up the gym. If you can show up two hours <laughs> early, then then uh, fucking you, <laughs> you can. Know? But the gym, this gym has massage chairs. It has, uh, you yeah. literally can just sit in massage chairs, right? Yeah. There, 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 you got red light therapy, you got all these little things, and I was going to pay for yours, and you can go anywhere in America. They have these all over the world, right? It's not a bad hookup, but I'm going to say something. It's off the table. Yep. It's off the table. I got you. And let me tell you why. Because we rescheduled a lot of shit. I rescheduled. Well, I'm, I'm shooting a, a short film with somebody, and I rescheduled that for tomorrow. Now, I'm playing tomorrow. By the way, I'm playing, so I have to make a drive to Hollywood tomorrow to shoot in the morning, and then I have to come back and then make another drive to play in Hollywood. And I'm only doing that because I want to do this cast, right? Right. And uh, sacrifices, man. And, but but and, look, now I make these sacrifices because I enjoy this. I very much enjoy this because, hey, Justin, imagine if I go if I go without the podcast, I go, hey, come sit across from me for, <laughs> for two, hours. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Imagine like we get rid of the mics, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, Isn't that weird? No, like, if you think no, about it, it wouldn't be because then we just turned it into cards. Do we play in some asshole? We'll play you cards, know? then I get yeah. fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I get yeah. yeah, but I want to. But my time is very. I, this is. I'm very serious. My time is very valuable. I and when you. I when I hang out with you and my boys and I do this cast because I love it. It's important in my life to do this. It's important to me. It's fun, right? When I'm when I'm I never ever just sit here and do nothing ever in life. When I'm sitting here watching TV, I'm spending time with my dogs or I'm spending time with my girl, right? Yep. If I if I'm just gonna sit here, I got plenty of shit I got to do and that I would love to do rather than sit and stare at the wall, right? right. Everything right. is on purpose, right? Everything is. And when I waste time, I feel terrible about it. So when I get stood up on a little something, now stood up for a reason, I get it. But when I get stood up like this, I get a little irritated. Hell yeah. Right? And so should we all. Yep. You should also value your time like that because we could never get this time back. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I all right. I'll stop, I'll stop being serious because I can go on about my motherfucking time. <laughs> 
Yeah. Time is money, baby. Time is money, and time is mental wellness too yep. i do this for my mental wellness because i'm gonna say something because without you guys right i'm a fucking mass murderer <laughs> i'm gonna say that with without you guys and doing these things that i love my depression turns into the weird turns anger. into other shit yeah I, and dude. we've all been there and you know me very well <laughs> and me and you have both been in this together yep to where if we do not uh, have these positive situations we will go into negative situations and, and that's a fact and that negative right. just keeps growing dude and, right until it's an unhealthy thing that just consumes you absolutely 100 percent. so these things are purposely to have a good mental health it is yeah and it's not being fucking gay or lame that that i'm saying this it, it, we have to do things in order to to because our, our brain is a muscle it is. Gotta it's do, important. Got to work it out. Because I notice since I've been doing this podcast, I speak better. I, I notice this. Yeah, I, I dude. Even yeah. e- even me, man. I I normally fucking slur. Even when I'm sober. Right. Now I drink right. and I don't slur. And that was going to be one of my things. That was going to be one of my things with this with this cast with our boy was uh, confidence. Yeah. We were. I was going to work on that. Hell yeah. Because because. Uh, uh, he does slime himself a lot too. He slimes right? himself a lot, and and, uh, and, and you, you know I, I take a jab at myself every now and then when I'm yeah. making fun of a whole group of fucking people. But also but. there's there's a there's a, a a way to conversate with people, and I I sent I can sense where people are not confident with you many times. Every time he he speaks with me, he's not confident. Yep. Right. Because I have to do the opposite, and I just did it right now. When when I was a younger dude, I made myself look at people in the eye when I spoke. Right. Now that I'm older, I make myself look away because it's creepy <laughs> when I stare at people too long. Right. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Because it's true. People, people, when real people talk, there's, there's a, you, you, you move around, you, you, right. You're fidgety. Right. Yeah. But I notice, and I've been told this by like an acting coach is you have to look away sometimes. Right. Because I'll stare at people in the eye. You know, it's weird, right. That I'm doing it right now. It's, no. You're my boy. But, it, <laughs> but if I just, the whole time I just sit here and I lock in. Which I used to do that a lot as an adult. I, I can see how they can end up being right. weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to right. a stranger, and they're just like, uh, I, right. uh, "Why does this guy keep staring yeah. into my soul? <laughs> how does he know that I jacked off in the bathroom earlier?" <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. But that is there is something to that, and I think like these casts are important for for confidence and just conversating with people, which is important in life. Hell yeah. Which I was going to also help with our boy also, but. Yeah. But I guess not. So we'll figure yeah. out how to proceed from here. Yeah. It's all good. Well, you know. Maybe we'll set up another failure. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it. I called it. You did. I didn't even set up the you microphone. Fucking did. I didn't you even did. set it up. I knew it. <laughs> That's so glorious, dude. That, yeah. That you're so in tune to you're like, yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Well, but it's not unique. Yeah. You're not new unique to this. It sucks. Everybody does it. It sucks, but it's glorious. I've been in this game a long time. I've been working with musicians a long time too. Yeah. It's very similar. I can tell when they're not going to show up. Yep. I can tell. I know it. So it's like, it's one of those things. It's okay. You know? You know? It's okay. You got to work it, but. Let me guess. You look them in the eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm a fucking. Oh, and, the, and they're like, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow, dude. <laughs> hey, I like I like the fact that you would. He hey, could tell I masturbated right before I came here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's true, right? Like masturbating before you go somewhere. It's usually, It sucks, dude. Like, don't do it. Hold that in. Hold that in. You got it. Dude. Hold that you in, gotta, man. You got it. Other, otherwise, you can have that look of guilt and shame <laughs> on your face. It's so true. <laughs> that, hey, that's so true. I never thought about that, but it's true. <laughs> Maybe because you don't have your full situation. You don't have your full. No, you're, you know, you're not. Your, your tea is you're left, not chubbed up. Your tea has left the building. Yeah, dude, yeah so. your tea. Yeah, your tea's so, gone. So now you're just like, hey, so uh, let's talk about your feelings. <laughs> yeah, right. All of a sudden, you turn into a lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. On that note, let, man, let's get out of here. What were? What are we calling the cast again? What is it? Oh, a uh, fucks capacitor. This is the no fucks capacitor. <laughs> yeah. We're out. out. Cheers. Peace. <laughs>